again we have the derivatives of algebraic functions so we have the derivative of a product so by definition the derivative of a product of two functions is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function okay or the derivative of u times b is equal to u times derivative of b plus v times derivative of u where u and b are functions of x ano first function ang u second function ang b kaya meron tayong first function derivative ng second plus second function times the derivative of the first function u. Okay, so minsan binabasa yan as u db plus v du. Okay. So ito yung derivative ng product. Okay, sample tayo. Let's say we have our sample number one as if y is equal to quantity, say x squared minus 3 times the quantity x squared plus 3. And we're going to find the derivative of y with respect to x or dy over dx. Okay. Here we're going to apply the formula for derivative of a product. Okay. So we have here our first function, this is u, then second function, b. If we're going to apply the derivative of a product, so differentiate natin, dy over dx is equal to our first function, which is x squared minus 3 times derivative of our second function which is x squared plus 3 and then plus our second function again x squared plus 3 times derivative of our first function which is x squared minus 3 so by definition this is u this is u and this is v so we have db plus v and then this is u du u db plus v du so yun ang ating formula then we're not going to apply the derivative of a sum diba? this is sum sum or difference diba? so difference naman to Pero nakapal object si power x raised to n saka si constant. So, application to ng mga previous no, formulas natin. Then, applying those formulas, we will have, so I'll write this one, x squared minus 3. Then, we're going to differentiate x squared. Apply power x raised to n. So, baba yung 2. Kaya 2, x raised to 2 minus 1 is 1, so 2x lang yan. Plus, derivative of 3, 3 is constant, so derivative na constant ay 0. Plus the quantity, we have x squared plus 3, so rewrite lang yan. Times, again, differentiate x squared minus 3. This is power x raised to n, baba yung 2, di ba n, x raised to n minus 1. So we have 2 x raised to 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have x or 2x na lang minus 0 okay 
Now we're going to simplify. So we will have x squared minus 3 times 2x na lang yan plus x squared minus uh, plus 3 times 2x. And we're going to distribute 2x. Multiply x squared minus 3 by 2x and x squared plus 3. So multiply natin. And we will have 2 nothing. So we have 2x Wait, ito muna Saka ito 2 plus 1 So we have 2x cube Minus 3 times uh, times 2x So we have minus 6x Plus Ito naman 2x times x squared is 2x cube Then plus 3 times 2x is 6x. Okay. Now we're going to combine no, similar terms. So ito ay magkamuka, di ba? 6x, 6x. So magkaiba ng sign, positive, negative. Pag combine mo, 0 na yan. Ito naman, pareha silang x cube. Go combine natin. 2 plus 2. So we have 4x cube. So, this is the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay. So, yun yung method ng product. Okay. So, yung example na to, binigay ko sa inyo, ay pwede rin pa xn using special product formulas. Okay. So, again, dibihin natin, if we have x plus y, Natin. If we have x plus y multiplied by x minus y, the result will be x squared minus y squared. So, ito yung product of the sum and difference of same two terms. Diba? Parehas x, parehas y. Magkamukha, magkamukha. Kaso, sum and difference yan. So, when multiplied, ang magiging resulta is difference of two squares. Kaya, x squared minus y squared. So, same with our example. y is equal to, tapat natin, this is x squared minus 3 times x squared plus 3. Okay. We're going to analyze the given. Di ba? Parehas silang x squared. Parehas silang 3. So, ano nangyari? Sum, di ba? Saka difference. Ito yun x plus y, x minus y. So, the result will be y equals we have x squared quantity squared minus 3 quantity squared. That's why we have difference of 2 squares. Ayan, squared, squared. First term y, x squared. Second term y, 3. Square mo lang sila. Then simplifying, we have x raised to, 2 times 2 is 4, so x raised to 4 tayo, minus 3 squared is 9. So y is also equal to x raised to 4 minus 9. So meaning, before differentiating, we're going to simplify first the given function, kung pwede siya simplify So kagaya niyan, since ito ay pwedeng apply na special products, sinapply natin, multiply natin, simplify, saka tayo mag-differentiate. Now, differentiating, dy over dx, is equal to, so ito ay power x raised to n lang, 4. Baba yung 4, x raised to, 4 minus 1 is 3. Derivative ng 9, yan ay constant, so yan ay 0. Or dy over dx is equal to 4x cubed. Okay, so we have same answer, 
different solution yung ginawa natin. Ito, first, we use the derivative of a product, di ba? UDB plus BDU. Then, simplify natin. Dito naman, simplify first, then apply differentiation formulas. Okay. So, pwede, pwede i-simplify, simplify nyo muna. Misa, mas ma-excite. No? Hindi naman porky nakaproduct yung ating functions, product agad ang gagamitin natin. Ano pala, pwede siya i-simplify. So, simplify natin para mas madali. Okay. So, have another example. Okay, clear mo natin lahat yan. Another one. Let's say, if y is equal to Let's say x squared. X squared plus two times say x raised to four minus two x squared plus four. Now we're going to find again the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay. Again, we have here our first function u and our second function b. So we have derivative of u times b. Then we have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the first function u which is x squared plus 2 Ayusin natin yung exponent. So, we have your x squared. x squared plus 2 times the derivative of the second function, which is b or x raised to 4 minus 2x squared plus 4. plus our second function which is x raised to 4 minus 2x squared plus 4 then derivative of our first function which is x squared plus 2 again this is u dv plus v du so, yun ang derivative ng product. Okay. Now, applying formulas again, we will have quantity x squared plus 2. Then, differentiate natin to. This will become 4 x cube. Okay, baba yung 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Minus 2 times 2. So, we have 4. 4x raised to 2 minus 1 is 1 plus derivative of a constant 4 is 0 plus sorry write lang ito x raised to 4 minus 2x squared plus 4 then differentiate mo yung x squared that would be bababa yung 2 2 times 1 so we have 2 x raised to 2 minus 1 is 1 kaya 2x na lang plus 0 okay. or we have quantity x squared plus 2 times this is 4x cube minus 4x plus the quantity x raised to 4 minus 2x squared plus 4 times 2x. And we're going to multiply and then combine similar terms after, multi after multiplying. Kumuna tayo x squared and 4x cubed. So we will have 4x raised to 5. 2 plus 3. Okay. x squared multiply dun kay negative 4x. That would be negative 4x cubed. 
2. Ito kay 4x cubed. So, plus 8x cubed. Yung 2 kay negative 4x. Negative 8x. Okay. Ito naman tayo sa isa. Plus 2x times dito is 2. X raised to 5. 4 saka 1. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. Minus 2x squared times 2x. So, we have negative 4. X cubed. 2 plus 1 again. 2 plus 1. 3. Plus 8x. So, okay. Ayan. Ano? 8x. 4 times 2x. Doon tayo sa pwedeng i-combine. So, ngayon, makata natin. Ito at ito. Sa parehas silang x, magkamukha ang kanilang numerical coefficient at magkaiba ng sign, positive and negative. So, magsisiro yan. Okay. For going to combine, negative 4x cubed sa kan plus negative 4x cubed magiging negative 8. Negative 8 plus 8. So, yun ay masisiro din. So, cancel na lahat ng x cubed. So, when combined, magiging 0 yan. Diba? Negative 4 plus 8 ay magiging positive 4. Positive 4 plus negative 4 is 0. Then, we have 4 x raised to 5 and 2 x raised to 5. When combined, we will have 4 plus 2 or 6. 6 x raised to 5. So, this is our dy over dx. Okay. This is our derivative. Okay. Again, ito naman, sinolve na naman yan using derivative of a product. Again, yung binigay ko example na yan, pwede pa rin niya i-simplify using algebra. So, i- Alam niyo pa yung tinatawag na special case of product of binomial and trinomial. Ito yun. Okay. So, if we have x plus y, x plus y multiplied by a trinomial x squared minus xy plus y squared so, the result will be x cubed plus y cubed. Meron kang cube of, diba? Sum of two cubes. This is binomial and trinomial. So, ang tawag yan ay special case of product of binomial and trinomial. Now, paano malalaman niya ang case na yan? Punta ka muna sa binomial. So, ang binomial mo, meron kang term na, first term na x, second term mo ay y, x and y. No. Ngayon, yung trinomial mo dapat, dapat andun yung square nung bawat isa. So, ito x, ayun, si x squared, andun yung y, y squared. Tapos, at andun yung kanilang product, x times y, so meron kang x, y. Yung dapat ang trinomial mo. Square nung una, x squared. Square nung huli, y squared. Multiply mo silang dalawa, x, y. Paano yung sign? Kung plus ang binomial mo, dapat yung kanilang product ay minus. So, yun. Ano? Ikaw ay x plus y, kaya dapat itong si x, y minus dito. Kung ito naman ay x minus y, x minus y ang meron ka, then dapat ito x squared plus naman dapat si x, y. Plus x, y plus y squared. So, ang result naman yan, is x cube minus y cube. So, itong pinakasagot, yan, ay nakabase kay binomial. ba? Kung minus to, minus doon. Plus dito, plus ang magiging sagot mo. So, ang basihan ng sign ay si binomial. binomial. Si binomial ay naka-plus, dapat ito ay plus x cube plus y cube. So, same with our example. Okay, so in our example, so we have x squared plus 2. 
Okay, x squared plus 2. Ayusin natin muna. Ano, erase natin. So, we have x squared plus 2. Times. We have the quantity x raised to 4. Minus 2x squared. 2x squared. Plus 4. Okay, yeah. Hindi ko check natin kung siya ay satisfied ano diyan sa ating trinomial okay so if we're going to check this is x squared pag in square mo yan di ba sa so, isahin natin x squared squared that will be x raised to 2 times 2 so x raised to 4 so ayun x raised to 4 so, multiply mo yung dalawa, 2 times x squared. So, we have 2x squared. Square mo yung 4, ayun 2, magiging 4. Plus, ito ay minus yung 2x squared. Ito yun, ano, sabihin ito. Ito ang kanyang pattern. Now, applying this pattern, so our y will become, diba, x squared. Ito lang, ano, yun. Binomil lang basahin natin. x squared quantity cube plus 2 quantity cube. Ito kasi ano mo, x plus y. x cube y cube. Okay. Then y, when simplified, will become x raised to 6 plus 8. Okay. Or, ito na siya, ano, 2 times 3, so 6. Then we're going to differentiate dy over dx equals 6 x raised to 6 minus 1 is 5 plus 0 or dy over dx is now equal to 6 x raised to 5 okay so we have the same answer using another solution first again simplify muna natin saka tayo mag differentiate Okay.